Hi, welcome to our math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on probability. So the first question we have is Chansey rolled a four six-sided dice. What is the probability that all the dice rolled are three or less? So on a six-sided die, of course, we have the options of one, two, three, four, five, or six. Three out of six is equivalent to one out of two. So we have a one out of two, 50-50 chance for each of this four die. So that becomes one half for the first die, one half for the second, one half for the third, and one half for the fourth, or we can simplify and just say one half to the fourth and get one out of 16. It says, what is the probability that at least one four is rolled? So this can get complicated because at least one means the first one can roll a four or the second one or the third one or the fourth one or the first and second or the first and third or the first and you kind of see where this is going to get pretty involved and every time I say or that's another set of fractions that you have to multiply and then add together but the nice thing about the words at least one is if you roll at least one, that means at least one four needs to be shown. But the complement to that, so if our event is at least one four, the complement to that, ooh, E complement, is no fours because an event plus its complement have to equal one, the full probability. No fours is a simple calculation because no fours happen when the first die isn't a four, that's five out of six because there's five other numbers besides a four, and the second one, and the third one, and the fourth one. Each of the four die have a five out of six chance of not being a four. So if we calculate no fours, that should be the complement of at least one. So this becomes one minus 625 over 1296, or 1296 minus 625 over 1296, or 671 over 1296. Okay, the last, the next question says, if two dice are tossed, what is the probability um, that, that should say one of them shows a six, but not both? So if you look at two die, we're saying the first one is a six, and the second one is just not a six, so I'll say six complement, or the first one is not a six, and the second one is a six. Okay, so these are our two options. What we need to avoid is both of them being a six, but not both. Okay, so if you roll one die, the probability that this die is a six is one out of six. If we just ignore the second die, if we say the second die can be anything it wants, we'll add to this the probability that this one is a six. That's one out of six. But then we need to take away the one probability where they're both sixes, which is one over six times one over six. So we end up with two over six minus one over 36, which is 12 minus one over 36, or an 11 out of 36 probability that one or the other is a six, but not both. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.